Uh, my name is Tom van der Bogart. I'm a professor in mechanical engineering at Cleveland State University. And uh, what you see here behind me is the V-gate system that we use for mechanical testing of human motion. Uh, as you can see, it's a very realistic environment that we can uh, create. Um, and we use virtual reality technology to present a 3D environment uh, visually in front of the person. Um, and then the treadmill itself can also, uh, of course, create a, a walking speed or a running speed. Uh, it can also create uphill or downhill, and it can also move sideways to, inst to uh, introduce disturbances. And then while we have the person in that sort of environment, we can record uh, motions with a motion capture system. Uh, we're also recording uh, forces between the foot and the ground uh, with sensors that are placed in the treadmill. And then uh, there's a very sophisticated uh, mechanical analysis that we do to determine the kinematics uh, of the motion. We can also determine the torques uh, that are being produced in the joints, and we can even determine uh, forces that are being produced by the muscles. So we get a very, very detailed mechanical picture of what the human is doing during this exercise. And then that information uh, can be used to answer all sorts of questions. Um, you can think of uh, diagnostic purposes. So we can put a patient on here and determine uh, which muscles are not functioning normally um, and do something with that information. There, you see how our right calf muscles are uh, lighting up? And that's a, a calculation that we've done that shows how the muscles are used. Now, um, do um, stand on your toes, both feet at the same time. The muscles will light up uh, in the same way. Um, let's see if we can do something with the arms. If you raise your arms, we should see your deltoids light up. Yeah, that works really nicely now. So I think what we're going to do is do some walking. We see the muscles in the front, and you see even the trunk muscles are being used in walking. Uh, you can look at it from any view here. It's almost like you get an x-ray picture of muscle function, uh, which is a really unique thing uh, to have. Uh, normally, a, a doctor would look at somebody walking, and they would try to figure this out in their head. Uh, what's wrong with the muscles, but here we can actually measure it uh, and present that information in the form of a, a graph or a picture or numbers. Uh, the other thing that uh, we, we are going to be doing with this is um, uh, determining how humans control their movement. So for instance, when there is an, a disturbance, uh, humans react to it because they don't want to lose their balance. We would like to develop uh, prosthetic limb technology that has the same uh, capabilities, um, uh, which is, which is uh, not exist, which does not exist right now. Uh, what we would like is to have prosthetic limbs that have their own brain and that react as if it was still uh, a normal limb. So if there's a disturbance, it would actually help you uh, balance yourself and it would react normally and it would function as if it's still a part of your body. Uh, the other technology uh, that we're working on, uh, and that's with the Parker Hannafin Company, is an exoskeleton. So that's a robotic limb that is attached to your own limb uh, if you're paralyzed, and it can help you move. And you need exactly the same capability that this limb needs to be smart enough that it performs the movement and that it also responds uh, to perturbations in the mechanical environment. So if you um, step in a hole in the ground, that you don't lose your balance, but the limb helps you uh, re recover from that. Okay, so what I've done here is this, um, this is an example of an application where you can control things 
with your body mechanics. So this ball is now being controlled by her quadriceps forces. Whenever she uses her quadriceps on the left or the right, the ball will go up. But if she uses the left more, the ball will go to the left. And if she uses the right more, the ball will go to the right. So try doing some squats where the ball go, just goes up and down. So if you um, don't use your muscle on one side enough, then the ball will tend to go sideways. So this would be a really good way to teach people to do symmetrical exercise, and especially if you've had a stroke and you're weak on one side. Um, you would do these squats and you would see the ball go sideways and you're trying to control the ball so it only goes vertical. So this is an application where um, the, uh, the virtual reality system is used to simulate a walk on the road and the road is programmed into the computer and the road goes uphill, the treadmill will go uphill and she can hit the birds with markers on her hands. And each time she hits a bird, she gets a point. This technology uh, can be used to answer any question about human motion. It's, it's, uh, it allows us to record all the variables, uh, joint angles, joint torques, uh, muscle forces. Um, and there are several uh, graduate students who work on projects that uh, use this system. Um, one student is going to work on uh, developing a control system based on experiments on humans. So uh, there will be humans uh, walking on the treadmill while we're introducing all sorts of random perturbations and it's going to be recorded uh, how they react to that. And then uh, there will be a mathematical analysis to determine what sort of control system would be needed to replicate uh, this human behavior. And once we've done that, um, then that can be put in a prosthetic limb. And that's an example of the type of projects that students can do with this system.